Hey guys, how you doing? Good morning, morning guys. Got my coffee, Mr. Tuan sponsored me a coffee. You know, a Vietnamese coffee, very tasty, very high in caffeine, very delicious. <laughs> All right guys, so I have a question from Zach Lane. Um, this question from the comments, guys. Uh, he asked, uh, what are my top three to five Sakuraba, Kazushi Sakuraba fights? So only the best I can guys, um, it's just the top of my head you guys, but uh, me number five, I'll say the introduction, my introduction to Sakuraba was when he fought Conan Silvera. You know, it was, uh, I think it was UC Japan, the first fight in Japan, and it was a tournament, you know, um, um, I think Tink Abbott fought Hugo Duarte, he broke his hand on his head, uh, Sakuraba fought uh Con Silvera and then um I think he was winning the fight or um Conan Silvera started to do started to do some combos and punches. Sakura went for a, a single leg and then uh the ref stopped the fight because he thought he was um he was down and out. But then Sakura protested protested the fight and um because Tick Abbott I think broke his hand on Hugo Duarte's head. Um they um he fought to Con Silvera again, I guess for the finals. It was an amazing fight because, uh, man, I, you know, I'm at this time I'm still learning Jiu Jitsu, or I haven't stopped just a kid, and Sakuraba, a mini resident, he did, took him down, or somehow he got to the floor, and Sakuraba was, uh, it looked like to me he was getting arm locked. And he reversed the arm lock, the key lock, and went to the arm bar, and he submitted a uh, Carlson Gracie black belt. And as a kid, I'm watching this, I was, I was like, wow, this is magic, I've never seen this before. You know, um, how did he do that? And like, he submitted a Brazilian guy. I'm like, it was like impossible. And fight number four, uh, Carlos, his fight with Carlos Newton. Carlos Newton at this time, he's been fighting uh, in UFC. You know, he's very athletic, very fast. You know, he, you know, he goes for move, you know, very entertaining fighter. And to me at the time, I was still young, I was a kid. And for, to me, uh, Carl Newton was very known for having good Jiu Jitsu, very good grappling. And same thing, Sakuraba was able to um, neutralize the grappling and hit the knee bar. And I'm like, wow, this guy's awesome. So, number three for me is a uh, tie with his fight with Alan Goyes or Henzo Gracie. Alan Goyes, you know, it was a very close fight, you know. And after the beginning, I think uh, Alan Goyes. Almost like kissed him with a renegade choke, but Sakuraba was able to escape. You know, I think he was able later was able to dominate. I don't know about done, but it was a very close fight. And I still, um, Young Gold was very buff and all juiced up. It looked like he could have probably beat Sakuraba, but I'm, I'm happy that he beat Young Gold. And then, uh, Henzo Gracie, um, legendary Henzo Gracie, you know, probably one known as the best fighter in the Gracie family. That fight at the time too was was very close, very neck and neck. Uh, Sakuraba at the time he beat all these Gracies, you know. It, it was crazy. Be, be Hoys, be Hoyler, and then I find Henzo, you know, the one of the better fighters of the Gracie family, and is able to hit the the, uh, the reverse key lock, you know, reverse key lock. You know, uh, Henzo had uh, uh, the back control of Sakuraba. They're standing. And it hit the hit the key lock standing, boom, and broke his arm. Uh, that was that was crazy. And number two, his fight with Vito Belfort, juiced up Vito Belfort. Um, at the time, you know, uh, Vito Belfort in the UFC, he beat Tank Abbott, he beat Scott Feroza, Scott Feroza, I think. He beat a lot of these guys. He's a UFC champion. You know, he's a beast. And right at the back, you know, when Sakura fight Vito Belfort, Vito Belfort does the Vito Blitz. Boom, 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 boom. And, and I think I hear later that Vito Belfort broke his hand, but I thought I didn't know. Um, Sakura just kept, kept calm, kept the pace, kept the pressure on him. You know, um, continued to do his uh, double kick now. He single, he had a good single. You know, he was a college wrestler. His leg kicks, leg kicks, leg kicks, leg kicks. Just kept the leg kick, kept the pressure, kept the jab, cross, leg kick, leg kick, leg kick, take downs. And he was able to win the decision against the, the freaking Vita Buffer. And for me at the time, Vita Buffer was freaking god love. He was freaking, I didn't think anyone could beat him. And this guy, Sagaraba, freaking, you know, picks him apart. 
And probably my favorite fight number one is um, Cyrus fight with the legendary Hoyce Gracie because at the time Hoyce Gracie was undefeated in mixed martial arts. To me, I'm just a kid at the time. I was in 2000, I was, uh, probably grand pre 2000, and uh, Hoyce Gracie, you know, who's undefeated. You know, no one's ever defeated him before. And um, I, I just started jiu-jitsu and Frank de Camargo, he said he had the whole fight. Him, he watched the, uh, the VHS tape and Sagaraba, you know, at the time I didn't know who Sagaraba was and he was just, he beat up Hoyce Grease, the guy was undefeated, that was unbeatable, you know. Um, I thought Hoyce Grease was going to submit him one way or another, but Sagaraba, you know, neutralized the submissions, you know. He attacked submissions on Hoyce Greasy, knee bars, key lock, he just kept the low kicks. So Zach Lane, I hope that answered your questions. Anyone uh, or everyone you guys have any questions or anything or any topics you want me to cover, please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get to it. Until next time guys, fire or die. And Twan, thanks for the coffee.